we often talk about people who break boundaries, but you truly did. You were the first black woman in space. So how has that accomplishment changed the way you go about your daily life? Well, you know, in terms of whether it goes about changing my daily life, I don't know. I mean, you, as you progress in life, you go from one step to another. Um, I don't know life differently than having uh, been an astronaut. Just being an astronaut, period, would have influenced everything. I think some of the big issues really surround the idea of whether uh, how you use your place at the table, mm. sort of having the notoriety of having been involved in space exploration, um, of having been the first, means that you have a place at the table. You have an opportunity to talk at a platform. And for me, it's how do you use that platform. Uh, my particular interest is in making sure that people know that they can be involved with not just space exploration, but science, with daring things, with um, helping to shape what the world becomes. Now, has that place at the table, has that prominence you've gained given you a sense of burden as well as responsibility? It's been difficult to maintain your, uh, ma maintain who you are, maintain uh, your, your stature. <sighs> No, I, it, that's, uh, no, no. I think it's really important just to be aware of what you're doing. I don't think that there's anything that I would call a burden at all. We all have a task that we need to do in life. I can use it one way, I can use it another. But no, I wouldn't consider it a burden. I believe um, that we're each obligated to do the best that we can in life, mm -hmm. no matter what we're doing, no matter what our... Um, notoriety is we're obligated to do the best we can in life. And I'm looking at the sign behind you in the Skype chat there. And although you retired from NASA in 1993, you have still dedicated yourself to the sciences and space exploration. So tell us about the 100-year Starship project. Well, let me tell you a little bit about how I got to where I am now. So when I was a, a growing up, I was very excited, yes, about space, about all kinds of sciences. I was also excited about fashion design, and I danced all the time. I loved art. And when I graduated from college, I graduated with degrees in chemical engineering and also in African and African American studies. So my life has always been this piece of where um, you work on lots of different things together. I went to medical school. I've worked in developing countries, and then I became an astronaut. After that, I was an environmental studies professor. The reason why I'm telling you that is because I didn't go from NASA to 100-year Starship, which is a project that you see behind me. There are lots of different pieces in between, and those different pieces are really about how 100-year Starship evolved. What is 100-year Starship? It is a project that I'm dedicating all my time to right now. It is about making sure that we have the capability to send, to send humans to another star system within the next 100 years.